What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a little video on the Pump Action Helios kit by Worker, or F10555. This is a 3D printed parts kit that attaches to the front of your rival Helios, making it pump action. A while back I made a video on the Pump Action Apollo, which is also by F10555 or Worker's 3D printing element, and I thought it was an excellent addition to the rival Apollo. The Apollo shoots hard, I just don't really like the priming handle being up on the top. But the Helios came out and it's pretty much the upgraded Apollo. I think it, it fixes a lot of the issues I addressed in the initial Apollo. So Helios versus Apollo, I would personally pick the Helios every time. So this new 3D printed kit for the Helios is pretty much the same upgrade more or less for the Apollo. And if you remember in this mod video, the assembly of this kit is pretty simple, but they've made it a whole lot easier with the Helios. You don't even have to open the blaster. I honestly think it took me way longer to unbox and unpackage this kit than to actually install it. You slide on the barrel shroud and screw in four little screws, two on each side. Two little screws attach the metal rail to the, the priming grip. Then you pop out the factory Helios bolt handle and you put in a 3D printed one. Then you slide a bolt through, put on the nut, and the whole kit's installed. It, it's like less than five minutes. And it has a super wide front barrel, so it's not like it's negatively affecting performance or at least that much, and it makes a pump action, and that's just my preference and the preference of many because it's a lot faster than, you know, a traditional bolt. As a demo, when I'm doing pump action, I can leave this up against my shoulder, prime, and I'm ready to prime again, but I'm also in the firing position because this is where my support hand would sit on this blaster, and that lets you go really fast. If you had to prime on the side, you could prime it, and if you just want to leave your hand there, this is a super awkward way to point and shoot. So instead of just priming with your left hand, I'm supporting the accuracy of the blaster, and I'm also ready to prime. So that's why most nerfers prefer pump action instead of like a, the top prime like a retaliator or a strong arm or a side prime like this bolt on the Helios. And getting to the appearance, this is all subjective, but I think the Helios 3D printed kit looks way cooler than the Apollo kit. It's a very very different appearance, but it makes the Helios look like a space gun. And honestly, I don't want to paint this because it, it looks like a stormtrooper blaster. Like, it just reminds me of one that doesn't really look like one. The white and black and the cool futuristic print up in the front that looks like a laser gun. But if you can hear the prime action, that sounds pretty awful. And that's because it's a 3D printed component. It's the two materials which have those 3D printed grains scraping on and just like sliding against each other, making that really ugly sound. If you can block out the sound, the priming action is way smoother though than the Apollo in the Apollo pump action kit. Not because of the kit by any means, but the Helios priming action is just way smoother than the Apollo. So final opinion on the pump action kit by Worker for the Helios is definitely positive. All the pros are pretty much everything except for the one con, um, it sounds disgusting. It's smooth, solid, um, it's super fast to install. Some people's loadout, they, they really dig the 12 round uh, rival mags and I totally get that because the chaos mags are just entirely impractical and some people don't want to use hoppers. It's more tactical to use the mags like this. So if you're competitively running a Helios and you want to, you know, increase rate of fire, check out the kit. Not really a mod video, not a full comprehensive review video, just an overview of the component more or less. If you guys have any questions or comments on this product, leave a comment in the section below. That's the end of this video, bros. Thanks so much for watching. As always, stay tactical.